first look at Pixel Experience ROM based on Android 11 and with OSS vendor running on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at Pixel Experience ROM based on Android 11 with OSS or open source software vendor running on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. Now, as you can see, Android version is 11. Security update is from February 2021. Google Play system update is from January 2021. And yes, this is updatable in security. The kernel they are using is Pixel Experience Plus, hint, hint. Pixel Experience Plus Edition is coming out next month, which is March 2021. And as you can see, this is the official beta build of Pixel Experience for the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. And in March, we are expecting stable builds. SE Linux is of course set as enforcing. If you go into settings, security, Google Play system update, you should be able to update your Google Play system update patch without any issues. So this is how the ROM comes out of the box. You do have Pixel Launcher and yes, you can access your Google feed without any issues. Volume panel, bam, here it is. This is how the volume panel is going to look like on this build. Your quick settings panel, here it is. This is how the quick settings panel is going to look like. You do have the option of adding more tiles in case you want to. Tap on the three dot menu on the top right and the only option you have is reset. Do note Google did add a screen recorder in Android 11 which is going to let you record device audio and microphone at the same time. Let us start it. And now that the screen recording is running, let us try opening a few applications to see if there is any lag in the UI when you access applications with the screen recorder running. And no, as you can see, there is no lag in the UI and everything seems to be working without any issues. Next up, since we do get Pixel Launcher out of the box, here are your recents. As you can see, everything is super fast and super smooth let us try select bam select works without any issues screenshot here it is screenshot taken tap on share it's going to open the quick share menu press and hold on any application and you can now pin it to your quick share menu as well next up let us see if hey google is working or not so as you can see on your screen right now hey google is working with the screen turned on let us turn the screen off hey google are you awake and as you can see, it is broken with the screen turned off on this current build of pixel experience. Next up, let us go into settings, network and internet, tap on the Wi-Fi name, tap on it one more time. You have the new option of disconnect in the center. And yes, this is a five gigahertz Wi-Fi working without any issues. Tap on advanced. You also have a toggle to enable or disable auto connect on a per Wi-Fi basis in case you want to do that. Next up, we can go into apps and notification, select see all applications, go into Chrome. And if you go into permissions, let us select camera. You have three different options. Allow only while using the app, ask every time or deny. And yes, you also have the toggle to remove app permissions if the app isn't used for some time and that duration is 90 days. Next up, if we go into mobile data and Wi-Fi, no per app network isolation on this build tap on advanced and you do have screen time battery usage and other features in case you want to use that go into conversations yes you do have priority conversations go into notifications notification history once you enable it you should be able to access your notification history in case you have a notification you'll have the option of history on the bottom left other than that you have android bubbles and you also have the android 11 easter egg cat game an important thing to note over here is that bubbles does not work with whatsapp right now moving over to battery you do have battery saver 
and yes we do have the extreme battery saver from pixel devices available on this build other than that you also have adaptive battery turn on light when charging and you also have a toggle to enable or disable the battery percentage in case you want to moving over to display you do have brightness now there is an issue which i noticed once you reboot your device the auto brightness is a bit wonky the only solution for that is to toggle adaptive brightness on and off and then it works without any issues next up you do have dark theme and with android 11 you can enable dark theme to turn on and off at a custom time and here it is we did get a cat and as you can see bubbles is working without any issues on this rom next up you have night light in display and if you go into styles and wallpapers here are the different themes which are baked in you can of course create your own theme you do have different fonts which are available icon shapes here are the different icon packs which are available then accent colors here are the different accent colors no rgb picker unfortunately icon shapes here are the different icon shapes you can choose from and once you have done that go ahead and give it a custom name tap on apply and it should be applied without any issues going back into styles and wallpapers going to grid here are the different grid options you can choose so you have default 4x4 3x3 and 2x2 going to wallpaper this is the pixel 5 style wallpaper preview and yes you do have the star wars mandalorian wallpapers and you also have the curated culture wallpapers as well along with a few pixel 5 live wallpapers with the ability to download other pixel wallpapers as well on this rom next up you can choose your screen timeout you have a toggle for auto rotate screen then you have the ability to change the colors natural boosted saturated or adaptive so no live display on this build then you can configure the font size display size screen saver go into lock screen here it is you do have the option of enabling always on display and it does work without any issues just that it doesn't work right away so you have to do it twice for it to work without any issues and it is working right now other than that if you're not using always on display going to advanced you also have pickup to wave hand wave and pocket mode toggles for all those are present and yes you do have double tap to wake let us test it out there it is you can see double tap to wake is working without any issues on this build next up we have sound so in sound you can configure your media volume call volume ring and notification volume then you also have android 11 style do not disturb which can be configured on a people app and alarm basis live caption is there works without any issues then you have toggles for all these different options along with me sound enhancer baked into the build as well next up we have security so yes you do have fod on this build no face unlock unfortunately and no screen off fod you do have to double tap and then you can use the fod it of course is pretty accurate and i haven't had a missed fod on this build so far so the only feature which i feel missing is screen off fod and i think they might add it on the plus edition next up if you go into system you do have the option of pop-up camera settings so you have a toggle to enable or disable the camera led then you also have the option of choosing a custom sound when your camera pops up here are your different options unfortunately the star wars tones are missing go into gestures you can of course quickly open the camera by pressing the power button twice and then you also have gestures so you have two different options either you can use the full screen gestures or you can use the old school three button navigation if you're using full screen gestures go into settings you can configure the sensitivity for the left edge and the right edge no options to hide the back option or the bar at the bottom then you can press power and volume up together to either go into vibrate mode or mute your device and you also have the option of power menu wherein you can configure to see cards and passes and 
device controls and you also have a toggle to see cards and controls when the device is locked other than that in system you also have rules so with rules you can set up specific rules let's say you are leaving your home and you want the wi-fi to be turned off so that is something which you can configure in rules next thing we can check for is safety net so here it is i do have magisk manager installed my device is not rooted right now let us check for safety net and as you can see safety net is passing out of the box let us open the google play store as well go into settings and as you can see device is certified this means you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues next up let us open google photos try to edit this picture and wait for this loading bar to finish next up let us go into adjust bam here it is portrait light feature is available on this rom and as you can see on your screen it is working without any issues next thing we can check for is youtube media playback so here it is let me play this video move over to full screen as you can see no jitters no lags everything is smooth live caption is working without any issues as well next up let us try picture in picture mode so as you can see picture in picture is working but an important thing to note with picture in picture is that either you need to have youtube premium or you need to be in a specific country for picture in picture mode to work without having to purchase youtube premium next thing we can check for is app opening animations so here are the app opening animations on your screen right now as you can see i have no jitters no lags everything is smooth we can also check for recents there it is pretty smooth here as well google feed no jitters no lags here either everything is super fast and super smooth let us try switching between a few applications there it is this gesture is working without any issues as well next thing we can check for is widevine support so drm info application as you can see security level is set as l3 let us open the prime video application as well try to play this video not free let us try out this one over here and let us watch it so as you can see on the timeline there is no hd besides the time which means wide wine of course is broken on this build so you will have to bear with l3 while the developers figure it out next thing we can check for is media controls in your quick settings panel so let us play this piece of music as you can see media controls in your quick settings panel are working without any issues so what is the final take on this rom well all in all a pretty good build of pixel experience do note that they are switching from miui vendor to oss vendor so there will be some minor issues but the rom is stable there are no random reboots and me personally i did not see any excessive battery drain either in my limited time i spent with this rom so things are only going to get good from here and there it is peeps that was our first look at pixel experience rom based on android 11 and oss vendor running on the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you